Hi, I'm doing a Bible review of another new Bible I've received in the last two weeks. It is an NIT Bible, complete with translator's notes, and it was put out by Bible.org. First of all, an overview of the content, and then I'm going to talk about the physical aspects of this Bible. This is a free on the internet type Bible, a free domain, I guess you would call it. It was done by American evangelical translators, I believe over a period of time, but initially came out in the 1990s. This is a unique Bible. In every aspect, it is like a study Bible, but it is a different type of study Bible. Let me get the informational page for you while I'm here. There you go. Let me tell you why. We have, the, of course, the translators discussing their how they did their Bible. Here's Genesis 1. Just to give you a good picture. Two verses at the top and a page of commentary. This Bible does contain some normal commentary that other Bible, com, you know, commentary Bibles have. Um, study Bibles, but it also has a great deal of information about translators, choices, original language, and English options. It is a gem for that. Um, so, majority of the notes are very, very different than the original, you know, type of study Bible, ESV, NIV, whatever, who have just a very few notes about translators, choices, if any. So, this is a good Bible to use in parallel. It is a very big Bible, over 2,500 pages. The print is 9.5. The font, uh, modern, has no concordance, no maps, no articles like how to study the Bible or archaeology, etc. The heart of this Bible is its notes. And the fact it was a new translation done in America. It sits at about the NIV level, uh, HCSB level. It probably was done based on critical text, I believe, if I'm right about that. It has a lot of scholarly information in the back about choices, uh, refer material that can be used. Um, I'll give you an example. Here's cited works, just like a, a dissertation. Sadly, Probably not importantly, but sadly the maps are um, black and white. Not the best. And here you go. I said no concordance. It does have an index to the maps. A short one. As an appendage in the back, it put, and it probably was came out after this Bible was initially created, a beautiful color insert on satellite maps and pictures of the land of the Bible. And we'll give you a picture of this. It's unique. It's probably why I like it. Most Bibles would have put the money in the colored maps, and this one instead tacked on an insert. Very pretty and unique. Um, if this was your only Bible, you'd probably like to have colored maps. Again, more satellite pictures. Um, it gives you the top topography of the Bible. You know, the rivers, the mountains, the hills, the valleys, etc. And too many people think of the land of the Bible as a flat land. It's a very mountainous, hilly land. And that controlled the movement of people, the movement of armies, etc. And which is a, makes the stories more alive. If you had to fight in the valley because it was the only way between two impassable mountainous areas, then that valley became the highway, also the common battleground. Now about its, con about its material qualities. I'm going to do the paper first. A lot of things in this Bible, the publisher has used hyperbole, described as, as premium. The cover's premium, the, the paper's premium, the gilding is premium, the one ribbon is premium, according to them. Well, they don't say where the Bible was printed at. I make an assumption of America, but it could have been China, could be Korea. I'm not sure. They don't say, and I probably will look that up and post it on this uh, video at a later time if the publisher will say where it was published at. 9.5 text, good. 
uh, nice layout you can see it's paragraph form with verse divisions uh, I think probably with the exception uh, even the Psalms we have something very similar each verse has its own separation but it's still two column picture of the head tail band in the ribbon. I call the ribbon medium quality. It's a 3 8 It is not equal to the best ribbons. The head tail band is of good quality. Here's the cover. It is bonded leather. Uh, a pretty brown. And they make some extravagant claims that this will last for centuries as opposed to leather that only lasts a few decades. Uh, I think the person making those claims either is very ignorant or very loose with the facts. Dotted leather, here we go, says what it is, premium dotted leather, is in fact pieces, fragments of leather mixed with chemicals and recomposed. And that's not premium and they don't tend to last long. There may be some synthetics that'll last for centuries. This is not a synthetic. The liner is a paper liner and that's again a lower quality than a synthetic liner not premium here's the guilting I'll give you a look at that it's good not great size of this Bible some of you may recognize this or know this Bible other Bible I'm showing you this is a NASB Schuyler Quintel goatskin truly premium art gilding premium paper Absolutely the least bleed through of any modern Bible. Beautiful ribbons. It's just premium, premium, premium. And over $200. Um, this Bible, $35. They're twins in size. I think the Schuyler could be an eighth of an inch thicker. But other dimensions, just the same. So if you have a Schuyler and you want another big Bible, um, another big Bible. Wonderful resource. Wonderful resource. You could take this Bible and the NASB and do them in parallel study. This has the lovely cross references and the maps and all the rest, but no footnotes or introductions. And this Bible has so much on the translation choices. So this and perhaps a third Bible, an ESV study Bible, something like that, you would have or King James, if you like that type of Bible, uh, one of the better study Bibles. You would have three Bibles that would work great in parallel, and each would give something different. That's about all I have for this review. 35 bucks, Bible.org, uh, very functional, not premium materials, fib, 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 but that's okay. Uh, the writer of that probably wasn't a Bible enthusiast. And I am, and can compare it to other Allens, Schuylers, Cambridges, who are, who are truly premiums. Um, and even local church Bible publishers, which I put at semi-premium, a good quality Bible. They're better ones. All right, that's all I have for this review. NET Bible, available at a good price, great resource, uh, new, different translation. Uh, it might be of use to you. Have a good day.